When Will and Julie Rahm decided to foster a young girl and her siblings, they saw it as an act of kindness, nothing more. But what the little girl revealed to the judge during the adoption hearing was beyond anything they could have imagined. Kiora, a bright and hopeful child, lived with her biological parents and four siblings, Will, Truth, Mariana, and KJ, in a cramped apartment in a rundown part of the city. Their tiny home felt even smaller under the weight of the growing tension that permeated their lives. Ethan and Clara, once loving parents who filled their home with joy, had let their relationship deteriorate over the years. Arguments became a daily occurrence, and the children found themselves caught in the crossfire of their parents' battles. Kiora and her siblings felt that somehow they were the cause of the issues between their parents. Life used to be fun and carefree for the kids, but now they always felt uneasy and scared. Ethan and Clara's constant fights got worse over time. They would often yell at each other, scaring the children. Whenever this happened, the kids would go into hiding, hugging each other and crying quietly. With time, though, they got used to the noise of doors slamming and things being thrown around. As the children got older, they realized how much their parents' fighting was hurting their family. They began to crave a peaceful, quiet, and loving home, but it felt impossible in their small, crowded apartment. Kiora, despite being the second to the last born, felt responsible for protecting her brothers and sisters from their quarrelsome parents. As the years passed, Ethan and Clara became so consumed by their anger that they stopped caring about their kids' well-being. They neglected them, leaving the children feeling invisible and alone. They didn't even meet their basic needs anymore. Amidst the chaos, the five kids dreamed of a better world outside their tiny apartment. They imagined being part of a family that cherished and loved them. Unbeknownst to the children, their teacher, Mrs. Ann Boyle, had noticed something was wrong. The five kids were always sad, quiet, and had trouble paying attention in school. Worried about their well-being, she talked to the school counselor, who knew what to do. The counselor decided to contact Child Protective Services, the agency that helps kids in tough situations. The counselor and Child Protective Services were concerned about the children's home life and wanted to make sure they were safe. The news quickly spread through the school, and everyone hoped that things would get better for the kids. Child Services started investigating the family to find out what was going on. They talked to the five children, their parents, Ethan and Clara, the neighbors, and other people who knew them. After conducting a thorough investigation, Child Services concluded that Ethan and Clara's home was not a safe environment for the children. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, Child Services made the difficult decision to remove the children from their parents' custody. It was clear that the children needed a different environment, one where they could feel loved and cared for. The siblings were taken away to be placed under the care of foster families, but something sad was about to happen. Child Services planned to separate the children by sending them to different foster homes. It was a big surprise for Kiora and her siblings, as they had no idea they were ever going to be separated and placed into different homes. Fate, however, had other plans for the siblings. Just as the paperwork was being processed and arrangements made, an unexpected turn of events changed everything. A compassionate social worker named Nina was assigned to find a family for all five siblings. As she got to know the children, she realized how deeply they wanted and needed to stay together. Nina understood that these kids had already suffered enough and that separating them would only add to their trauma. She was determined to keep them united. With a fierce resolve, Nina began a difficult search for a foster family willing to take in all five children. It seemed like an impossible task, but Nina's persistence and a stroke of good timing led her to Julie and Will Rom. Julie and Will had longed to have children of their own, but despite their best efforts, they couldn't conceive. After countless tests and treatments, they had come to terms with the fact that biological children were not in their future. Little did they know that fate had something even more special in store for them. When it became obvious that they couldn't start their own family through natural or medical means, they felt dejected. They had always wanted to share their love with children, so the couple eventually decided to open their hearts and home to foster children, hoping to make a difference in a kid's life. When Nina told Julie 
and Will about fostering Kiora and her siblings, the couple felt a mix of nervousness and excitement. They wanted to meet the kids and see if they could provide a loving home for them. As soon as Julie met the children, she felt an instant connection with them. It was a big decision to take care of five kids, but Julie and Will believed in their hearts that these children belonged together as a family. After thinking it over carefully, Julie and Will made the wonderful choice to welcome all five children into their home. The day the siblings arrived at the Rom household was filled with anticipation. Kiora, along with her brothers and sisters, stepped into their new temporary home, uncertain of what the future held. Julie and Will welcomed the children with open arms, offering comfort, stability, and most importantly, the chance to be a family. They took care of them and treated them as if they were their own children. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the Ram family began to form a strong bond. Kidora and her siblings experienced a sense of security that they had never known before. Julie and Will had so much love in their hearts and treated the kids like their biological children. They took the kids to church and encouraged their participation in sports, bringing joy and new experiences into their lives. The children began to blossom, their laughter filling the once empty house. Sadness vanished from their eyes as happiness took its place. The Rams and the kids became inseparable, forming an unbreakable bond filled with love and warmth. However, just as the children were getting fully accustomed to their newfound family, news arrived that threatened to tear them apart once again. The foster time was almost up, and the biological parents of the kids were unwilling to take their children back. Child Protective Services was left with the only option of splitting the children and placing them in different foster homes. Heartbroken by the thought of losing the children they had grown to love and knowing they'd be separated, Julie and Will were faced with a decisive moment. They realized that they couldn't bear to see the siblings divided, knowing how much it would affect the kids, especially after losing their substitute parents. In an act of incredible devotion, Julie and Will decided to do something drastic. They made a bold choice. They decided to adopt all five kids. But there were issues with their decision. Sure, Julie and Will felt capable of taking care of five children permanently, but would the judge grant them an adoption? Would the children even want to be adopted despite the potential hardships? Will and Julie's minds were made up. They loved the kids too much to let them go without a fight. The adoption process began, and the entire family had to go to the courts and present themselves to the judge for his decision. The judge was a firm and curious man, and he asked Will and Julie why they wanted to make these kids their own. Will and Julie spoke from their hearts, explaining how much love they had to give and how much they wanted to create a forever family. But there was a moment in the courtroom that would leave everyone stunned. The judge asked each of the kids about their opinion on Will and Julie Rom adopting them. Each of them gave positive answers, but when it got to Kiora's turn, what she told the judge was unbelievable. Kiora looked straight into the judge's eyes and spoke with a heart full of hope. She shared how she had always dreamed of a family where love replaced anger and there was no fighting. She told the judge that she didn't see Will and Julie as just foster parents. To her, they were her real parents. She wanted to stay with them forever because in their home, she felt truly loved. Her words brought tears to everyone in the courtroom, including the judge, who was visibly moved. In that emotional moment, the judge officially granted the adoption, uniting Kiora and her siblings with the Rom family. It was evident to everyone that Will and Julie were the perfect parents for these children. Kiora and her siblings finally found the love, stability, and happiness they had longed for. Will and Julie became their true family, and all of them felt incredibly blessed to have found each other. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video. Take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.